Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the DFS experience for Thursday, April 21st. It's only a three-game playoff slate. Um, we already know what we're dealing with, so this video shouldn't be too long. Luka, we're going to start with DraftKings. Uh, we'll start with point guard Luka. Questionable. If he if he plays, um, I think we've, we've all grown to understand that he really shouldn't bet against Luka if he's in the game. If he's good enough to play, he should be good enough to um, hit his marks, hit his value. So I'm not really going to be worried about Luka. Um, depending on if he's out, that's going to be, you know, extra $2,600. Because if you're not playing Luka, you're playing Brunson. You know, so... Um, not not the biggest deal in the world, but something you got to really pay attention to. I still like Ja against Minnesota. He's he's motivated. He's motivated because they lost game one, so you know they're all taking it, you know, personally. So or taking it personal. Curry, Curry. I like Curry at 89 if he starts. Now, the problem we have with the Warriors are which one of these guys are going to go off. Curry and Poole? Curry or Poole? So, are you playing Curry and Clay? Poole and Clay? I don't want to play Poole and Curry both, you know, one at 8-9 and one at 8-1. You need, you're going to need, you know, 40, 50 fantasy points from both of them. So, figuring out which one is going to go off, good luck. Brunson, like I said earlier, 8K, he's fine. You know he's going to be the alpha on the team if uh, Luka isn't there. 8K looks crazy. You want 48 fantasy points. You'll probably take 40 with increased defensives, defenses on both ends since it's going to be game three of the playoffs of that, you know, that series. Then we could also have a good game. So 7,300 is not far-fetched. Not, it's not too overpriced. Russell is going to show up at some point. One of these games, he's going to show up. He usually has good, well, regular season, he had good games against Memphis every time they played. So, Russell is going to show up rather sooner than later, hopefully. Mike Conley is Mike Conley. He should be used as value, last man in type deal. Beverly, a um, little bit more upside because of the peripherals. Clarkson, is hit or miss with him. He can come off the bench and have a, you know, get hot. I don't really think I want to do with anybody else other than that. Oh, and played 18 minutes. Yeah, it's not going to do it for me. Let's go to shooting guard. Mitchell. Mitchell's always going to play for me. Um, you know, what he's, he, he's underpriced for what he's capable of. And that... that helps a person like me that understands what he's capable of and I roster him every chance I get. I like Mitchell, I like Edwards. Bain 6200. Memphis, you know, they pass the ball. They're all talented. They're all athletic. They can all score the basketball. They're gonna fade out Adams, play more Clark, um, probably Tillman. Everybody can get a bucket, so with Ja orchestrating, you know, you don't know who's going to be the recipient. I'd play Bain, I'd play Brooks. I definitely won't play both in the same lineup, and I'll spread it out. You play many lineups, play some with Bain, play some with Brooks. Barton, Gibson. If you think Denver's going to come back, you're going to need Barton to play well. Um, play him. If there's no Luka, you could go back to Bullock. Maybe pair him with a Brunson or Dinwiddie. Beasley's in play, come off the bench, get hot. Bojan, Bojan's in play, Wiggins is in play. They might start a new death lineup with a uh, Curry, Poole, Thompson, Wiggins, and Draymond. Wiggins should get more rebounds, you know, maybe a few more peripherals. He's going to be more in the paint, so take that into consideration. Aaron Gordon's always in play. He's another one that if, Golden, if Denver's going to win, he should be very active. Um, should get some fantasy points, so whatever your game script calls for, whatever you think is going to happen, play the players to reflect that. Finney Smith, if my house was on fire and I had to play Finney Smith to 
get the fire department to, you know, save me, I'd probably just die in the fire. Fuck Dick Finney Smith. He's trash. Um, Porter Jr. not going to play enough minutes for me. Twenty-two minutes. Nope, it's not gonna get it done. So let's get Royce O'Neal. No, not gonna get it done. Let's continue. Draymond in play. Jackson's in play. Jaron Jackson, that is. Brandon Clark, Maxi Kleber. You know they're gonna they're gonna put him on put him out put him on the put him outside and let him shoot. Let him drag Gobert out and let him shoot. So Kleber's in play, but. I doubt he gets another game like he just did. I think eight threes. Yeah, all right. Kyle Anderson, he played 21 and 18 minutes. It's not going to get it done. I'm good. That's it. My play pool, the, the deeper we get into these, these series, the tighter my play pool gets. You know what I'm saying? That's just how, that's me. If you want to play, you know, Kaminga and all these other guys, McDaniels, and have at it. I, I keep my player pool tight. Jokic. Can't go by game two because he got tossed. He really had 51 fantasy points. Listen, the team is going to lose. He should still be able to get his numbers. Not the 70 and the 80 that you were expecting. But if you think... If you think eleven hundred dollars, if you think fifty five, sixty fantasy fantasy points is good enough, good enough for you to win your contest, play him. If you don't think that it's worth it, and Golden State defense is too much for him, then no play him. That's what it comes down to. Towns, Towns is in play. Maybe you know five percent of my lineups. Gobert is tricky because he's about to get phased out too. He did play thirty seven minutes. Um, 17 rebounds. Um, I don't know. I don't know how you could be a defensive player of the year con um, contestant and a defensive liability. Eat both of those things. Are they going to take him out the game as far as play him less? That's the question. If you think Gobert is fine, they're not going to mess with his minutes, play him with 7,600. If you think he's too much of a de defensive liability and they're just going to keep dragging him out to the perimeter, then uh, don't play him. But Gobert, to me, 7,600. What I would do, I would listen for news during the day, see if you hear anything out of Utah, anything about, you know, I, I don't know. They're not going to say they're not, they're not going to say they're going to play him less, so. Just play him in, you know, don't play him in every lineup. Don't play him in every lineup. That's all I can tell you. And Steven Adams. I'm done with Steven Adams. No more Steven Adams. No Steven Adams. No Powell. No Whiteside. Tillman could be in play. I doubt they start him. 21 minutes, 35. Listen, pay attention. Pay attention to news. Um, even if they start Stephen Adams, I don't think they're gonna play him much. They might play Tillman. Um, just pay attention to news. Just pay attention to news. That's all I can tell you. Um. I'm playing Draymond at center. I don't think I need Jokic. I'm going with Jackson. I'm going with Anthony Edwards. I'm going with Ja. A shooting guard. Bane. Play is 6,900. How confident do you feel about Clay Thompson? 36 minutes. He's not really shooting the lights out. You know what? To be honest with you, it's too many of them taking shooting. 
too many of them taking shots, taking Clay Thompson out. I'm gonna need him to get big points if I'm gonna pay that for him, 6,900. Um, Russell, 7K. Can Russell and Edwards go off? Yeah, that means Cat is probably gonna be passive or not hitting their shots. But I'm looking for Russell to have a bounce back game. Three for 11, two for 11. Yeah, Russell, you're going to need to show up. So I like Kyle, I like Russell, I like Edwards, I like Jaron Jackson, I like Draymond. You're probably not going to be able to play them, you know, in the, in the lineup because of the fact that you're going to have 4K left and you can't play 4K value in a way that that's not going to happen. So probably take out, you know, take out Russell if you want. You can play Bain, you can play Brooks, you can play Barton. Maybe let me help you guys out. Let me take out Russell. I play Barton. Um, that helps a little bit. Um, but um, yeah, you gotta you know think outside the box, have a game script, and if a player had a bad game, don't let that deter you from going right back to them. That's it. That those three things are gonna help you go from you know, not cashing or barely cashing to really getting up there. You got to have a short memory when it comes to DFS. You can't say, oh, Russell had a bad game. I'm not going to play him. And the thing, the things with um, Steven Adams is that he's a defensive liability. They've taken him out of games twice already. So you already know what's coming. Gobert, you know, they've been giving up big leagues because all you do is, you know, pull. They're pulling Gobert to the three-point line. And open up all the space so, so, so everybody could drive. Now, do they keep him in? Maybe they need him. I don't know. Not not Utah. I'm not in the Utah front office. I don't know. But he's a liability. Even though he's a good he's a good shot blocker, he's a liability. So these are all things that are going to affect. You know who plays. You know if 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 different people come in and play extra minutes, or if they're going to stay with Adam for sure is out of there. I can tell you that right now. As far as um, Gobert, you know, listen, listen to the news. If you don't hear anything, he starts, everything should be normal, but they're exposing him. So, see what happens. These five guys that I like, uh, we're about to jump to FanDuel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for being here. I'm trying to get through this video quickly so I don't take up too much of your time. It's only three games late. Um, and I'll tell you this. I do offer Patreon. We're already at the 20th of April. Patrons reset. They renew every uh, first of the month. So I can offer you this. If you're having if you if you're having trouble making winning lineups or you need help, um, or you don't have the time to build lineups during the day. I could I build um, optimal up to date lineups, send them out right before lock, and you could get that either through the Patreon, which will re renew at the beginning of the month, or you could do a day pass or a week pass. Um, if you need information about that, you just DM me on Twitter. We're going to jump into FanDuel, and we're going to wrap this thing up. We're going to start with point guard. I love Ja. Like I said, he has, he's out, he's out, he's something, he has something to prove, and he's the only star on his team. That's why I prefer him. I like him, and I like Mitchell a lot. Morant, Curry, Mitchell, all in play. Brunson is fine. If there's no um, Luca, Russell, I'm expecting to have a great game. Poole is going to be good, but how good is he going to be with Curry next to him? I'm expecting Dinwiddie really to have a better game. He had a bad game also. Beverly is kind of pricey, but he does get peripherals. Conley is meh. Clarkson could come in and get hot. And the rest of them I don't like. Now, when once you get down to um, lineup construction, once you get down to your last man in, and you have to play somebody, if you have to play a Tyus Jones or Melton or Highland, it's not the end of the world. It's just that I prefer not to play them. You know, but you know, when, if if you get a lineup, and you have nine guys. Was it two, four, six, eight, ten? If you have nine guys that you love, and you have 
$4,600 left and you have to play Melton, it's fine. Because if he gives you 18, 20, 22 fantasy points and the rest of your guys hit value, you're still going to cash. So, it's all right. Um, Anthony Edwards. Clay Thompson. Barton. I like Clay better on FanDuel. Will Barton. Wiggins. Desmond Bain. Dylan Brooks. Beasley. But look, if there's no um, Luca, they're all fine. Bojan, if you must, but 6200 for him is a little pricey. And everybody has dual um, position eligibility, so it's like literally whatever. Um, Jokic, of course. Towns, Draymond, Jaron Jackson, Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon too cheap. Kleber's all right at 4900, but he's not going to do what he did again. And we stop there. Maybe Carl Anderson, last man in. Go Bear. No Stephen Adams. That's it. No, no Looney, none of that. Go Bear is like the literally the only center only person you can play, and I don't know. If they're going to stay stick with him, if they're giving up easy buckets, if all you got to do is drag him to the three-point line, so <sighs> whatever. Um, I might just stick with Draymond at center. Back to Jaron Jackson. Anthony Edwards. Uh, and Mitchell at 4750 left if he was going to try to make this a lineup but I like these guys that's why I pay down at center and power forward um, yeah so that's about it so um, I know tonight's weird with uh, Kyrie not hitting value KD not hitting value a lot of people not hitting value but hope you guys um, had a productive and profitable night anyway. That's it for me, and I'll be back shortly with a MLB video. So I'll talk to you guys shortly. Ciao.